going on guys it's your boy avionics back with another amazon delivery driver video this is another a day in the life of now if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as i do put out quite a few videos throughout the month whether it's amazon related or action figure related or whatever but it is peak season today is december 20th monday and well i'm going to show you how peak season looks like in the las vegas henderson nevada area now all cities all routes are not treated equal you know in other parts of the country peak season means over 300 to 300 over 350 packages 200 stops something like that honestly so far this peak season um and like i'm only two and a half months old into the amazon dsp world only uh, three days i've had during peak season i've had over 300 packages and over uh, just over 150 stops so like I said, all cities and all routes are not created equal. Since my first Amazon delivery driver day in the life of video, I have created um, a different system. I won't say it's different, but slightly different system of how to load my cargo van when you have like a lot of bag totes, tote bags, whatever you want to call it. So if you have like 20 or uh, around 20 or more than 20, I, I did come up with a new system. Um, check out the uh, loading time lapse right here and I will go over how I went and did it after this little time lapse. So today I have 15 bags and then I have 33 overflow with a total of 234 packages. I just dropped one off because they were outside so I didn't get a chance to actually organize but here is my summary with 118 more stops to do and then a total of 233 left if you can see that. So yeah. So my new system, especially peak season or anything over 15 bag, like 12 bags, really. So here's my cargo door. I actually load number one here and then number two, three, four, five, and then over here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so on and so forth. Because if you have like 20 bags, it's gonna be hard to fit everything and plus your overflow and plus, if you start here by the door, you can clear this area first within the first hour, hour and a half. That way you do have some room to kind of walk around. So yeah, so one, two, three, that way I get space. And then um, with the overflow, so now coming around back, I actually have the, um, the, la the, the highest number closest over there towards those first six, five bags. And then they uh, descend in order here so my next one is number six this is number six on the driver aid number so i'm gonna be delivering this soon so then I'll, i work my way in so but yeah that's how i uh load the vans now when i have like 15 or more uh totes for me it helps but i mean to each their own but that's how i have started loading especially during peak season now I'm going to go ahead and unload my first tote and get to delivering.
All right, so it's lunchtime. What do I got for lunch today? I got some pasta with meat sauce, homemade. But um, yeah, it's uh, 2.45 right now. I clocked out on my lunch on the ADP app and on the Flex app. Make sure I'm not stealing any time, you know. But uh, yeah, it's 2.45, so I'll be done my, my lunch at 3.14, and it says I have 68 more stops, uh, which is about, I'd say about three hours. So I'm giving myself about 6.15 to finish up my day, then most likely uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and rescue someone. But uh, it is what it is. I don't complain about rescuing because I myself like to get rescued when my itinerary is uh, a little overwhelming. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch and then we're gonna go back to delivering packages. and wrap up this video another a day in the life of an amazon delivery driver once again my name is avionics if you guys enjoyed watching the video i'd appreciate it if you hit that like button leave all your comments down below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications of more videos like this all right guys peace